In example two, we are going to graph the parabolas. And in order to graph it, we want to plot the vertex and four additional points, two on each side of the vertex. So the first thing we have to do is we have to find that vertex. And to do that, we're going to do what we did in example one, which is rewrite it in standard form. So let's go through that process one more time. First thing we're going to do is we're going to group together those x terms. And we're going to factor out that number in front of our x squared, being a negative 2. So we're going to take the negative 2 out times x squared. Now negative 8 divided by negative 2 would make that a positive 4x. And then I'm going to leave room inside here to add on the opposite number that I need. And then I still have my minus 13. And then I need to remember that I have to add that opposite out here. So then we have to figure out what number we're adding in there. That number, we're going to take the 4, divide it by 2, and square it. And that number is going to go there. So 4 divided by 2 is 2, and squaring that would give me 4. And then I can't forget that that 4 is really being multiplied by that negative 2. So I've added negative 8 so far. So then I need to add a positive 8 on the outside here, leaving me with my equation that y equals negative 2 times x plus 2 squared minus 5. Now with that, I have my vertex. My vertex is negative 2, negative 5. Now in my table of values, I'm going to do my x and my y's. And with my x and my y's, I'm going to go ahead and plot my vertex in the middle of my table because I need two points on either side. So there's negative 2 and negative 5, and that's my vertex. Now, I need to find points above and below that. So I'm going to go with negative 3, negative 4 on that side, and then negative 1 and 0 over here. To find those points, you have a couple different options. You can take the negative 4 and plug it in to your equation, or you can use your graphing calculator and your table function. If you need help with your table function, please pause the video and raise your hand and I will come around and help you. But take a second now, hit pause and see if you can find those y values. If you found the y values correctly, you get negative 13, negative 7, negative 7, and negative 13. And then all we have to do is go and plot those points on our graph. So we have the first point, which is negative 4, negative 13. So let's find that point that's right there. Then we have the point negative 3, negative 7, which is right here. We have the point negative 2, negative 5, right here. We have the point negative 1, negative 7. And we have the point 0, negative 13. And it's going to be a nice curve. Let's try that again. So there we go. And that should come in over there.